It's a uh, early thrift for me today, ladies and gents. I'm a reseller. I am also now co co partner in a boutique called the Reseller Cartel. It's growing an audience, and with your help, we could be even more successful. And our success is really small. But it don't don't think when people say successful that we're rich or millionaires. We're just a couple of dudes with a couple of friends having the best life that we can at the moment and trying not to get it caught up in too much. Thrifting makes me excited as much as food. So right now, um, I'm already seeing people walk in. It's not even 10, so they must have woke up early here at Goodwill. I was going to go to the gym, but this was calling my name. So I'm going to walk in there now and hopefully we can find some stuff. On Wednesdays, it is going to be 20% off. It's a new year, same us, but bigger goals. I'm looking for a $500 item for less than $20. Let's go. Oh, no, so it's either one or the other. And I'm gonna head over to the sporting goods. Ladies and gents, look, look at this beauty right here. Radio flyer town and country. Look at that. 40 bucks, that is not a bad price. And you could take off the sides. It just needs the pins to go on here. This is this is really nice, folks. I almost want to get it, but I don't have space for it. Somebody's gonna snag that up. Here. What do we got up here? We got a little. We got some stitch art. No, it's not real. It's machine made. I don't like that. Really nice though. Ooh. We got an industrial plotter. One twenty-four. That could be worth several hundred if if it has the programming to it. Look, seen it. She got it right over there. I don't know if you could see that, but they got the town and country. <laughs> this is the kind of coffee that I need. Coffee feast mode. Get it, this sucker is big. Cool. $3.99. I'm thinking flowers or something went inside there. I wonder if anybody actually attempted to drink that much coffee. This is really nice. Has some potato chips under the eyebrow and right under the beak. If they didn't have that, I would probably get it. Nice little top lid, and for nine bucks or five for five bucks, that would have been a really sweet price for the shop. But it could be fixed up, maybe even. Well, I think now that I'm thinking about it, there's somebody in the shop that could fix this. I would want to pay her for it, and I'm not sure if it would be worth it. So let's look up the cops. All right, that didn't look like it goes for much. Some people have it listed high up to fifty dollars. And then some people have it down to nine dollars so that alone is not worth it for me there's some mini shock boards three dollars these would be cool to have in a shop we could put some messages on here put our hashtag information for me and mikey and um just so i know i did just start a yelp page so folks you want to take some photos pictures i hope there's more positive that comes out of your reviews than anything but please share it on yelp look it up look up reseller cartel brick and mortar and uh hopefully it pops up soon i'm just waiting for it to be uh given a thumbs up by whoever the moderators are on that so i'm gonna take one of these i think that's a pretty cool idea and it's only three bucks all right you may be disappointed in me on the last time but I ended up finding one of these things. If you remember the last video from Goodwill of the Asian Oriental theme large fan, I didn't end up getting it and I wish I did. And coming across this one, I really like it, but I changed my mind because of this. This is $14.99. Get a nice little piece right here of this bird with some berries. It looks like some maybe cherry blossoms. 
looks in really good condition from the top of the lid six dollars for a takahashi made in japan has a price on there of 9.95 i think these might end up maybe getting you around 20 bucks they're not really good sellers but really nice artwork though surprise it's not worth more but reselling it's always going to be different than what you think things are going to be even with the quality it's pretty cool i wonder what 3.99 i wonder if we could use this for something Hmm. Not sure. All right, so I was looking this up. This deer to his base. Um, there's different descriptions on it. With the stamp on here, it makes me feel like it's not as old as I originally thought it was. Some people have it as a starting bid on eBay for five dollars. Somebody has. Somebody else has it on. Poshmark for $27 so for that even though this would go in the shop for $12 $13 uh, I don't think I don't think I should get it my neighbors ladies and gents look who I just ran into again boom <laughs> so let me tell you about this this was made in 1692 Whoa. Um, there was one at auction at Sotheby's went for eighty-five thousand. Uh, there's no price tag here, so it may also be priceless, uh, or it could just be a regular pepper shaker. I don't know. <laughs> Skateboard over here. It's pretty wrecked. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Little cleanup. It'll look like not new. We've got a stealth game core. Could do some planks on here. Some balancing. Oh, do not stand. Lifetime access private group. $34.99. I'm curious how much this goes for. Whenever there's high prices, I'm always wondering how much does it go for. Ooh, look at over here. We got a Muppet Babies. Macy's Muppets. I'm gonna put this to the side and check that out after we research this one right here. Surprise, surprise, these sell for around a hundred bucks. But for $35, and then the shipping cost of this, this is probably better for yourself. Kind of has like a little rough rotating and needs a better uh, bearing on the inside. ESPN Playmaker. This feels cheap. Oh, this wasn't here earlier because I was here. I was here earlier. This little replica helmet made in USA. $5.99. I don't know. It's like the sticker is peeling. I could probably order one on eBay and do it, but then that wouldn't be the same. That is very, very cool. What do you got right here? Star Wars piece, that's cool. But it doesn't tickle my fancy. Now this one back here, just might tickle my fancy. Well, if I could get it out of here. Oof. This just told here. This is cool. Jeff Ink. This is a really nice piece by Greg Olson. Let him in. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. So what's really nice about this is that it's framed. The matting is on point. I can see little pixels. So it's uh, going to be a print on canvas, I believe. Then it does have the original price that they were asking for, but it could be older, make be more valuable. So 
You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this one. Now that I'm going done going through the art and hard goods, I walk over to the apparel and see quite a bit of people in the men's t-shirts. Pretty sure they're resellers, but right behind them is this vintage World's Gym shirt. It reminded me of Venice Beach. I've sold quite a bit of their shirts, stringer shirts, for over forty dollars. I'm pretty sure this one could get me around forty to fifty, maybe even more. I can't remember who. If not, I would credit them because I'm big on crediting people. Someone ended up sharing that they sold a vintage Lance End jacket for a pretty good penny. So looking at this shirt, seeing that it's a vintage Lands End, I think I could get around fifty dollars for it. So thank you to whoever shares their information and helps people like myself and you. The Travis Matthew polo shirt. I was really excited, especially with that being half off. But unfortunately, the collar was wrecked. I ended up leaving it there. Bojo is a pretty good brand. And for the condition of this, this is great. This doesn't have to be for reselling. I don't get it because I want things for a lesser price. Um, but maybe it'll still oh, be God. there when it's half off. Ladies and gents, I did it again. Thought I lost my wallet. Ladies and gents, I I always forget my wallet. This is the same Goodwill that I lost my wallet in somehow. I left it at the counter and it took about a week to get. Welcome to my garage. There were two items I didn't really talk about to talk much about in the video, but um, while I was editing it right now, I realized I didn't do it. So I'm going to share that with you because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get questions about, hey, what are those things you had in your car? You didn't say nothing about it. Sonny, you need to tell us about it. Folks, I'm human. All right. On top of that, I'm married. On top of that, I'm married. And on top of that, I'm married to a Filipino Japanese from the islands. Okay. Um, if you don't understand that, uh ask somebody from the islands about their uh significant uh love of their life all right because it can be pretty dangerous with these type of islanders um she's not violent but she scares me to death she like looks at me in this particular way that like looks deep into my soul on top of that this morning was really good i got around a thousand dollars worth of listing i want to talk about that in the next video about how to pay yourself and how to think about listing to help motivate you to keep listing and reaching for your goals as you work on it one day at a time. So if you're wondering why I'm reaching over and touching this, so when I'm not using my GoPro, I use my phone and I drop it the video over into Facebook Messenger and then I download it onto my tablet. And as long as it's around a minute and 30 seconds or less, it'll drop down and not, then I gotta cut the video down and it's just easier this way. So the next item I came across is going to be from this, this K Becker. There's a signature right on the bottom, right over there in that corner. I can't reach with my alligator arms, but I found this to be very beautiful. I like the frame. There are some little dents and scratches on the frame, but people could touch them up or they may just reframe it and not like the frame. But the art itself is pretty unique. And with what I've seen selling the shop, and for the price of this and the little information I came across with K Becker is that it could probably be around $400, maybe even more, maybe even less. But I won't know until I actually figure out more information on what type of print it is. And one person I'm thinking about in the shop is actually going to be William, who him, his mom and his dad have their own boutique. And those are the ones that had the uranium type of beautiful glasses that were in there. People will be getting a lot of love when I show videos of more of their stuff and what we have in each boutique section. So I'll do more of that here in the future. On top of that, folks, I got some information to look up on those two videos. I'm Sunny Las Vegas. I'm a full-time reseller. If you love and, and are enjoying what I'm doing, folks, this is my collection right here that I've been probably buying up the last two, two, three years, all right? And it's starting to catch up to me. And uh, people always wonder, like, well, how do you keep up with stuff? I don't. And that's been my biggest flaw. But this year, I have quite a bit of goals. I want to pay off my truck. That might be, like, second go. But I want to go to events here in the States. 
um, like Charlie Flipcon. I want to go to Josh's uh, Harry Tornado Flipcon. I want to go to Dante's. I want to go to Dante's Prisoner Profit event. And all of that's going to cost money, folks. So if you want to know how to support me and, and allow me, assist me in affording to go to these events, watch the videos from beginning to end. That's the easiest thing you could do, the most affordable thing. Run my, my videos, watch the playlist, just let them run while you're with the volume up, listen to it. If there's anything that you come across that you're like, ooh, what was that? What was he talking about? And it caught a, a big interest in you and you want to learn more about, that's the beauty about YouTube. You could always rewatch those parts. You could fast forward, you could back forward, <laughs> back forward, reverse and look into that stuff. So ladies and gents, watch from beginning to end, share your comments down below, tell your friends about me. Um, it's going to be an exciting year. I'm excited about every day, but this year I got big plans about going to other states, but I'm going to need your help with just simply watching my videos from beginning to end.